pie? Well, I made it for Lars' dinner tonight. Oh. It's sort of a surprise. I've never made a pie before, but it certainly seems easy enough. Here, Mary, taste it. <laughs> well? Mmm. 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 You're not just saying that. Mmm. <laughs> Rhoda, you, you, you'd give me an honest opinion, won't you? Uh, not necessarily, Phil. <laughs> well, listen, I'll taste it. Give it a try here. I love this pie. <laughs> so it's come down to this. I become such an object of pity that even Rhoda is being kind. No, Phyllis, <laughs> Mary, do you know how hard it is to make an apple pie? <laughs> My beautiful hands, hands that once touched the notes of Chopin. <laughs> <laughs> this is what that woman has driven me to to save my marriage. Cooking a damn pie. <laughs> what am I going to do, Mary? Well, Phyllis, does Lars know that you know? Oh, no. Thank heavens I've been able to hide my feelings from him. Of course, there have been a few close calls. Last night during Hawaii Five O, I began to weep uncontrollably. <laughs> but I covered by telling Lars I was moved by the grandeur of Diamond Head. <laughs> Listen, Phyllis, please, whatever you do, don't do anything drastic. Just wait this out and the whole thing will just blow over. I'll wait it out. Sooner or later, Lars is going to get tired of her. And he'll come back to me. And then I'm going to punish him for this. <laughs> Phyllis, you don't mean that. If only he didn't flaunt it in my face. Do you know, Mary, since he's been seeing her, he's gained nine pounds? <laughs> Do you know that, that his clothes are cleaner when he comes home at night than they are when he leaves in the morning? <laughs> I, I, I must be honest, however. Lars is not entirely to blame. I, I too, am somewhat responsible for what's happened. You see, Mary and uh, Rhoda, <laughs> some men are just threatened by a real woman. I, I'm afraid I've just been too much of a real woman. <laughs> Uh, Phyllis, how? How were you uh, too much of a real woman? I don't like to brag, Rhoda. But Lars and I had an incredible love life. Would you like to know how incredible? <laughs> oh, gosh, Phil, I don't... I'm going to tell you how of any real purpose. incredible it was. I think Lars summed it up best when he turned to me one night and said, Felix, jag har Apparently, that's all over now. <laughs> Phyllis, it's not all over. You know, just the other day, I was reading this wonderful book called The Life of the Bee. <laughs> Maybe you read it. Did you know the male bee is nothing but the slave of the queen? And once the male bee, uh, how should I say, um, has serviced the queen, <laughs> the male dies. All in all, not a bad system. 